Children need their parents. But what happens when awful parents put their children in severe danger and are caught by cops? Here are four times terrible parents were caught, starting with a mother who entered a high-speed chase with a child in the back seat. On October 26, a mother was pulled over for going 75 in a 60 zone, and she immediately was uncooperative. Insurance. You don't have it on? I do have it on. Okay, Can I have your driver's license? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Can I have your driver's license and insurance? I need your driver's license and insurance. I'm going to have a mask on. I'm I get that, but the quicker I get your license and insurance, okay, the quicker we can get out of here. The quicker I get your information, the quicker we can get out of here. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you want me to call an ambulance for you? <laughs> would you like me to call an ambulance for you? Okay, would you like me to call an ambulance for you? As soon as the opportunity arises, the suspect takes off, trying to escape the cops. Zebra 7 dispatch, my driver's taking off from Oregon, North Carolina. Get on the turnpike. Off from driver license and insurance. The chase goes on for a while as the officer calls for backup to try and stop her rampage. However, she pulled into a gas station and the cop immediately acted. Pay close attention to how the daughter reacts to her mother's behavior. Out of the car. I'm not. Get, Get away from car. me. I told you my daughter's yeah. having a I understand scene. that. I told you I'll request EMSA. No, you we're cannot not on EMSA. Unfortunately, some of the audio is redacted, but the mother calls the police because she claims that the officer is trying to break her elbow, and she then sends her daughter to the store. Get out of the car. I, I need what? Uh -uh. Get out of the car, ma'am. I need you to send one of your supervisor officers to the E Express at Memorial and Bryant. Your officer is trying to get out of the car. She's not getting out on her passenger daughter. Trying and to help my daughter, I want you to take my credit card in and go get you something to eat. Go. No, he's trying to pull me out of my own vehicle. Go. Let go of me, man. Ma'am. Let go of me. No, let, let go of me. I'm not get getting out of, out of my car. Get out of the car. I'm not going to get out. I'm not getting out of the car. I don't have to. Dude, I'm not getting out. Helping. I'm trying to get her food. And I, I was driving I, the I same speed limit it, as everyone I else. I it to you. You as took as my license the citation, and you were... You'd be good to go. I'm not doing that. I was going to write a quick citation. You were going to be good to go. D dude, my daughter... And I understand that. And I offered to call EMSA for you. I don't want EMSA. We don't out. contract with EMSA. I don't have money it for was, EMSA. It, it, was, it was just to check on her to make sure she was okay. I have been doing this since she was five. I would like you to let go of my arm. I'm not gonna let go of your arm, man. The child is seen filming the situation whilst hyperventilating. You can't blame her after her mother put her in such danger. So you can go write your citation, and I'm gonna we're, get we're my daughter some food. We're past that now, so you decided to run. I didn't run, man. I don't contract with you. I okay. gave you what you asked for, and I asked you to come on because I have to get her food. I wasn't speeding. What's up, man? Oh, um, you know. You know, trying to get people that Thank we you. actually traffic with. You're a trafficker, and you've got me here breaking my arm. Because you probably traffic all the dope in here, don't you? Please let go. No, ma'am. I'm not letting go. You're okay. going to get out of the vehicle. I'm not getting out. You're getting out of the vehicle, ma'am. After some strange insults, the resistant mother is eventually taken to jail and charged. She is facing several charges, including fleeing up to one year in jail, as well as eluding police, which is punishable by one to five years in jail, in the state this happened in. On October 29th, 2023, officers were shocked when they got a call reporting a lost seven-year-old girl who stumbled into a bar at two in the morning. Upon arrival, they found out that the girl had been left for several hours in the car whilst her mother went out drinking at the bar. Walk up to the door and she was immediately welcome because like, why is there a little kid here? Because I, I actually got under my seat and I was like, brought their kid to a bar this thing. And I realized she's just missing. She just doesn't know where her mom is. Mom's name is Victoria. Um, I've tried calling her mom several times. I've actually tried asking her last names and going on Facebook, and finding maybe trying to find mutual friends. I've tried everything, guys. What's the? How'd you get the phone number? She's actually a regular here. She actually used to work here a long time ago. The girl's mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but that's. That's, that's it. Gotcha. But, I mean, I, I, have, I have tried everything. They then spoke to the child, who handles the situation very bravely and maturely. How you doing? I'm like a little pumpkin. <laughs> Where'd you walk from? Um, I walked from my mm -hmm. All right, this is on you guys. We're out. 
right. It's okay. You can tell us where you came from, okay? Do you want to sit in that comfy booth with them? You want to yeah. sit with them? The woman next to her is an employee who was comforting the child. You Where's your mommy at? Sit next to me if you need to, okay? You don't know? You, don't know. you said you walked from your car. Yeah, because um, she, I fell asleep during it and then she has a bed nurse ever since because we um, got there and In order to find the mother, the cops asked the daughter to point out her car. It's okay. You show us wherever it is, okay? Yeah. He's gonna help us out, okay? She can maybe be in any of these buildings. Okay. She walked off to one, but I can't see where because she turned the lights off. Okay. Has this ever happened before? Um, no. She never leaves the car without me. No? Okay. She said it's something really important. And she said it would be a real quick when it hasn't because it was like, was like five to ten minutes. You're doing so good. You're if she'd so walk good. down here, she would never leave me. Who's she wearing? Um, she was wearing a long sleeve shirt mm -hmm. and then she wore, um, she wore some shorts. Wore some shorts? shorts? Like shorts like me? Um, yeah. Other cops found the mother who is barefoot and clearly very drunk. The questioning then begins. You realize that it's 6.30 in the morning, right? I, I do now. And you realize that your daughter, seven? Yes. Seven years old, has been by herself with us for four? For four hours? What on God's green earth were you doing that your daughter is here by herself at seven years old, where she's terrified and goes into the bar and asks random bar people to help and call the police. I have no idea, I'm sorry. So, sorry ain't gonna cut it. The officers let her know that sorry isn't gonna cut it. This is an extremely dangerous situation the mother created and the cops aren't happy. The story takes another dark turn. The suspect reveals she doesn't remember what happened, but she woke up in a stranger's car. So wait, you were in the car alone? Yes. Whose car is it? I have no idea. Why were you in someone's car you don't even know? I have, I have no idea. Renan. I, I came here to meet my friend Renan, and then I woke up in that car. That's all I know. I, I, I really didn't mean to meet, leave my seven-year-old alone in the, in the car. I would never do such a thing. Her dad mm -hmm. died last year. He was murdered. He was stabbed in, 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 the, in the heart. When you met Renan here, did you go into the bar? Did you have a drink? Yes. What was the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember is meeting my friend Renan here and then having a drink, and that's it. But like, she admits that she got very drunk and left her daughter in the car, but she doesn't remember the majority of the last few hours, meaning she must have been extremely intoxicated. I'm not a woman, and yeah, I don't like, know how things are. I understand. Do you feel like maybe you? were violated in any way? I woke up in a car that wasn't mine. I woke up in a situation where I, I didn't know where I was at. Were um, your clothes on? My clothes were on, yes. I don't remember anything from tonight. Like, like, this is what I'm getting at. We're not fucking around here because right. a seven-year-old was left by herself to walk into a bar of strangers right. who could have been the most god-awful people on the planet, but thankfully they've been nothing but angels the right. entire time. Yes, they have devoted their time since she came in the bar to make sure that this traumatic experience mm -hmm. does not become a severely traumatic experience. Yes, sir. Okay. As a result of this tragic case, the suspect was arrested on a charge of child neglect without great bodily harm. However, she has since bonded out. As for the child, the Department of Children and Families responded and took custody of the child. On October 26, 2022, a hotel made a phone call regarding an extremely drunk man causing chaos. Multiple of his family members tried to get him in his room, but he continued to cause mayhem in the hotel. Look at that. All right, all right, it's time to go. Her face. Sir, 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 it's time to go. Do you understand? Damn. Do you understand? Stop. I'm taking take you to jail. Sir. Do you understand? Sir. I don't care what she's doing. Please look at her face. Let's go to your room and we're leaving. Please look at her face. Turn around and start walking. Sir, will you please look at her face? Turn around and start walking. Will you please look at her face? I don't care what she's doing. Go. You're staying in 115. Let's go. But why don't you care?
care about her. Go, because I'm concerned about you right now. Go. No, you're not going to go anywhere right now. Why are you? This is the sister of the drunk man who has the baby in the room. Pay attention to how well she handles the situation. I promise he doesn't I mean just said I you understand. Yeah, I, I have enough against you right now to take you to jail for public oh, drunk and disorderly conduct. I, just said I, I will put you on the ground and put you in handcuffs. Do you understand? Do you, do you understand? Don't say you I understand. I do, but I said I would walk back to the court if he talked. No, I'm going to make sure that you get with folks that's going to make sure that. Mom! Stop, I'm going to put you no, on the ground. I just, no, I'm going to put you get on the ground. 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 I'm going to tase you. Mom, do you understand? Mom, get on the ground now. Sadly, the situation escalates as the suspect is thrown to the ground and the baby is heard crying in the background. The poor mother of the baby and sister of this drunk man tries to get her brother out of trouble by talking to a cop. Okay. She's wanting us to leave, but my husband and I have not caused any problems. Well, he's been asleep and I've been in this room with my daughter. My mom's been out there trying to help him. How do y'all know him? That's my brother. Go, I'm the only one that can drive, so right. I'm going to drive us to the hotel. Okay. I really don't want to because I'm so shaky, but I promise we won't cause any problems. We don't ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not up to me. Hang tight. And just be available when I come back. So we need to leave now? Oh, we'll figure that out. She wouldn't be hiding. She might be in there. Is she in the pool or the bathroom? Okay. She might be having a panic attack the way your son's acting. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. Just, just give me a few minutes. The drunk man is then put into the cop car and taken to jail. What did I do that? No, I weren't. Please, God Almighty, I will leave right I will go to sleep right now. I was trying here. to give you that opportunity. I did. You didn't want to take it. Sir. Now that opportunity is gone. Uh, probably in a patrol car. Can I speak to him? Not right now. No, let us figure this stuff out before. This child just graduated college with two majors and a minor. Then the story takes another strange turn. The also drunk mother of the arrested son begins talking to the cops, and you can tell they're related. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have two majors in a minor. Okay, what, what, did you have something to say to us? Well, How are you, know, you involved? I have to say you this. How are you involved with this, Jill? She's That's a mother. My son. Okay. That's all that I have to say, and I have to say this. I'm a grandmother. Okay. I don't have two minors. I mean, two majors in a minor. I don't care what you have when I don't have. He's in trouble tonight. Disorderly conduct and public drunk and obstruction. I had to bring your son to the ground and then threaten him with my taser before he would before he would put his hands behind his back. He's that drunk. But listen, I'm not going to have any discussions about your education. I will talk to you about anything. I don't care if you went to Harvard. It's going to do you good to be with that. Okay. You need to go to your room. We're done talking. So then the only, two can get gone. I can. I can't stop you from getting any of them gone. But they do have a baby in there, and that's what concerns me. I know, and I feel that, and I understand that. But my um, GM said that everyone had to leave. All right, ma'am. It's time for you guys to go. Okay, I'm about to make contact with your daughter. They have an infant child inside there, and her husband. Management wants you guys to leave the premises. Okay. So we need to get up, and we need to do that. Ma'am, I'm not going to discuss your right, son's yeah. arrest right now. This is a separate deal now. Oh, yes. Yeah, so they want you to go. Paid $200 that does not matter. That's a civil arrangement that you can have a discussion with them on another day. Not today. So what I need you to do is get up out of your seat. I'm sorry, but that's what they want. Cops deliver unfortunate news to the baby's mother that they have to leave, and more chaos unfolds. Unfortunately, due to the chain of events and the decisions your brother made, Y'all have to go. I heard it. She said that me and my husband and her could stay. Uh, now that's now the general manager has been contacted, and they want everybody to go. Okay, so your mom's in your mom's intoxicated. I think your husband possibly is. I've not seen him. I'm not a He's drinking. He's right. I hate that you have a child with you. I hate that I had to take you to the ground like that in front of you. But I'm not going to fight somebody standing. I hate that. But unfortunately, they do want you guys to go.
All right, so okay. we did contact the GM again, and she said that her, the baby, and the husband could stay. Okay, then. Then retort what because I just said. But your mother has to go. <laughs> Who can come get her? I know. I'm going to have to go then because there's no one who can come get her. No, she, ha she knows absolutely nobody. No friends, family, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, nobody that can come get her. It would be just, a long drive. I'll, I'll be back in just a second. Ma'am, get you in your room. You get in your room. Come to my room with I me, will in a minute. Thanks. Go in your room. I'm not going I'm right there. You, I'm not please. going there right this second. I'll no, be there in a minute. I need you to explain to my daughter that this is not about me. <laughs> but about we're not concerned son, about that brother. right now. No, she go is. to the room. No, she's concerned. And I'll come down there and talk to, to y'all in just a second. She's telling my her. her I'm not going to get her. involved in all that. Okay. Go to your room. For Jesus. Go. I'm going to take you to jail. What's going to happen is your son's going to jail. First, I'm going to take him to the hospital and have his eye checked out. Wait, then we'll, wait, then wait, we'll wait, take wait. him to jail. What? Listen, no, I, I've been checked out. Oh, yes, no, he I hit can't. the door frame when we went to the ground. I'm gonna have him checked what? out medically. Clear. <laughs> then we're gonna go to jail. I'm gonna leave you guys I'm with so it. Sorry, she man. needs, she needs to leave. Can okay, you, with you. Because if leaving. we, if we come back up here and she's doing any of this, and no, no, no any of this, you just made okay. me. You just told me okay. my son's eye has to yes, be checked out. Step in the room, please. The originally drunk suspect becomes more aggressive at the jail. When I get you out of this car, you're you not going to Why are you pushing on me? Now get out of the car. Why are you pushing? Get out of the car. I can't get out of a car. I have pull a whole shoulder. Pull your legs out. I have three pull surgeries. Pull your legs out. Pull your legs out. Surgery. Pull your legs out. Grab my, now, come on. Grab my shoulder again. Turn this way. Turn this way and stop. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I've never been arrested. As a result of his actions, the family were kicked out of the hotel and he was charged with public drunkenness, disorderly conduct, and obstruction. These are all separately punishable by up to one year in prison. On June 18th, 2021, a call was made from a woman who had just left her house with the kids as she was scared of her angry, intoxicated husband. She went to a nearby car park where she told the officers what happened. Obviously got an altercation with my husband who had been drinking and I left. I just don't have a cell phone and the kids were there. He's been drinking, so I'm like, fine, I'll leave, but he has my cell phone. When you say he has your cell phone, did he take your cell phone? Yeah. I mean, one was asleep, one, they're both in their room. Okay, so they weren't witness to the argument. They oh, were no. in the house, but not witness to the argument. No. Okay. So, what are you thinking you want to do for the evening? Do you have somewhere that you want to stay? Or you want I mean, to go back? I'm going to have to try that. So, if you were at the house right now, what we would advise you to do is one of you to separate. You know, one of you Oh, to he's leave never going to leave. It's going to be me every time. Okay. <laughs> have you guys had prior instances of domestic? I called. Once before, because his drinking has increased to the point where it's like, oh my goodness. Um, is he an alcoholic, you think? Yeah, he is. Okay. He is, truly, and it's very sad to me, and it's been hard for me. She says that her husband has become an alcoholic, which is a sad situation. Let's let just let us make contact with yeah, him first, okay? Um, and then, she said he's not open door. She's probably gonna have to let us in. Just... The cop goes to the house to talk to the husband, who is convinced the police can't arrest him. Their intention is to simply let them get clothes for the mother so she can stay at a hotel, but he tries to fight. Hey, Hello, how are you? Good. Officer Gill, Fort Orange Police Department. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna wake the, wake the dog up. We're um, good girl. We're here, obviously. Just uh, hey, Steph. I guess you and your wife had, a, had an argument earlier. Steph. And you want to hang out with Officer Lowry while she, or me and Officer Lowry, while she grabs her belongings? And no, her dude. Own. You guys aren't welcome. What's that? You guys aren't welcome. Okay. Well, she wants us here, so we're gonna be okay. here as long as she well, wants. Well, it's my us house. It's, it's both y'all's. Okay. House. You guys are married. It's marital property. Okay. okay. Well, it's my house. Okay. Listen, you can't keep her out of it. Listen. Peace out. Okay, well, she wants us here, so yeah. we're not going to okay. leave until well, she's done I'm, getting her dude, stuff. Dude, she's not even in the house, she's so get the f*** out of here. Okay, she's right here. How about here. that? Okay, so I tried to be polite, but at this point, get the f*** out of here. Okay, so here's what, what's going to happen. And if you try and stop her, I'm going to take you to jail. I'm oh. telling you that right now. He slams the door on the cops, which ends up being a big mistake. Since the property is owned by both the parents, the mother lets cops in the house where the drunk suspect threatens them. You, yeah, y'all motherfuckers. Uh, you have a family Power gone. trip? Yeah. Power trip? Yeah. I'm here because I got called here. Get the f out of here, here now. Both y'all. Tony, yeah. I'm not leaving. Dude, y'all don't have no right to be on my we property. Do. Yes, we do. 
Your wife no. wants us here. If your wife is giving us permission to be here, we have permission to be here. No, don't work like that. All we're trying to do is just get her stuff so she can get out of here. Oh my it. god, dude. The big old mofo. That's right, we're riding the big gun. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we don't have dude, to use how it. How, how, are you, how tall you are? How tall you are? 6'4". Yeah. You're like 5'2"? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Some other is like 6'2". Alright. 6'3". You want it? I opened it. Let me have the cell phone. Until... Eventually, after lots of patience, the cops enter the house from the back, where the suspect tries to fight. Dude, he wants us here. You better back up. Back up, man. Back up. You're gonna go to jail. Back You're gonna up. go to jail. Back up. All right, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. Hey. The drive's done. No, what did I do? Huh? Oh, you fucking. You f***ing asshole. Headbutt you. Headbutt you. Yeah. yeah. Stop. To the car. Yeah. What are you doing? Keep walking. What are you doing? On your stomach. Oh, you f***ing. wanted the phone. I can't get Yeah, you f***ing. Shut the f*** up. This is the alcohol. Yeah. Listen to me. Stop. This is over. Nobody's f***ing aggressive if you're not f***ing aggressive. Get the f*** out of here. As the mother of your children. Yeah. Yeah, she's a f***ing Roll over. He's placing cuffs in front of his wife and his kids who are in the car. He is horrible to his wife, and you can imagine how he treats his kids and wife normally. He picks up charges during his arrest by resisting. At the jail, he threatens the officer, and his charges are the following. Assault on an officer and resisting arrest with violence. 